Hello beautiful people, you're welcome to Bimsy Styling YouTube channel and today I want to show us how to cover up our bra cup using any fabric of your choice but in this video I made use of a crepe fabric. To start with you need your pattern paper, your bra cup, your tape rule, your pen. What you need to do is put your bra cup on fold and also put your pattern paper on fold. Put your bra cup on fold and put your pattern paper on fold. My bra cup in this case has already been dated. For some persons, they do not um, dart their bra cup. But for me, I dart my bra cup. And um, you can see the next thing you need to do is um, mark out your bra cup, the exact shape of your bra cup on your folded pattern paper on your folded pattern paper ensuring that you get the exact shape while you mark it out and once you're done marking out your the shape of your bra cup you proceed to adding your sewing allowance to the marked out shapes you had your sewing allowance in this case i'm using half an inch for my sewing allowance so i'm taking it from the top to the side of the bra cup half an inch round it from the side to the other side of the bra cup half an inch round keep marking mark it round mark 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 until to, you get to the end of the um, bra cup shape then you cut your pattern out with the sewing allowance yeah once you're done cutting open it up then locate the center and mark it out on a straight line with this we have successfully created a three-part cup piece we have successfully created a three-part so what we do next is transfer to fabric and um, here is our crepe fabric fully interfaced um, with SD. We are transferring our pattern to fabric now. Properly place your pattern on your fabric and pin it down. Um, do not forget that we only added our sewing allowance around the bra cup. So once we pin down our pattern, we need to add our sewing allowance to the midpoint where we slashed open so i'm adding half an inch to the upper part of the cup straight down and also half an inch to the lower part of the cup but on the sides i'm not going to add any sewing allowance again because i already added it on our pattern so we cut out our our shape our three parts um piece just the way you're seeing it now we cut it out round and once we are done cutting we proceed to the sewing machine to join all the three pieces together yeah so we um remove our pins and then match up our fabric together and sew on our half inch sewing allowance that we already added to our fabric we sew it out once we are done sewing we notch our sewing allowance and then i also reduce them the the sewing allowance there then you pick up the other piece locate the center and notch it match up the centers together the lower piece and the upper piece match the centers together open up your sewing seam allowance and then from the midpoint i am going to sew down to the um to the side and also from the midpoint i'm going to sew down to the other side opening up our allowance opening up our allowance so that's what i just did here once you're done sewing it you go to your ironing table and press open your seam allowance make sure you press it open this is very important iron it out press it you can see that all our seams are fully opened 
the next thing we do is to bring up bring the bra up and then we um we are going to insert into the fabric we just created the pattern we just created for it so once we do that we locate the center we match up the centers together the center of the bra up and also the center of our fabric we need to match them up you can see me notching the center of our fabric and then what i'll do next is to match it up with the bra up match it up with the bra up and pin it down pin it down once we are done pinning that part down we are going to sew it also do not forget that our bra up usually come with um sewing allowance round it round the tip so we are going to sew on that part um, at the top we are going to sew on this exact sewing allowance that is on our bra up sew the fabric and the bra up together and flip it to the other side flip it to the other side such that the fabric cover up our bra up yes flip it to the other side and then we lay it flat properly and um, pin it down we pin it down once we are done pinning down then we also take it to our sewing machine and um, sew on round the cup on our sewing allowance that you that, that is on the cup rather on the sewing allowance that is created on the cup we sew round it after pinning down this way here we sew it round just like that from one end to the other end of the bra cup ensure that you pin it firmly ensure you pin it down firmly once you're done you take out your pins and then our cup is ready trim out the excesses by the side of the cup trim it out properly and um, once we are done trimming out the excess what we do next is to make um the edges neat so we proceed to our overlocking machine um where we overlock our bra cup round and then um, once we are done overlocking we also proceed to the ironing table to iron it properly so that it, the top of the bra cup will lay firm it will lay firm so we are done and this is the result so we have the other cup also ready we can we can use this bra cup on our transparent corset a corset made with two nets on the nf um design you have created and you need a bra cup you can make use of it for your designs um thank you for watching if you have stayed to the end of this video thank you thank you thank you so much for watching please do well to subscribe to our youtube channel and also you click on the notification bell such that whenever we post videos you will be notified and you can be among the first to watch our new videos thank you for watching bye for now